all right y'all quick video slugs in the traps people slugs in the traps this one look at this one it's running over with slugs running over slugs in the trap people but look at this not quite ready i gotta let that i gotta let that let that get get red make that pretty and and look at uh it's flowering i got more flowers and i've been harvesting off these and they and they flower and they flower but this is what i want to show y'all everybody's always talking about 511 right 511 511 511 Okay, 511. Why they call it that? Because the nitrogen is five, the potassium is one, and the phosphorus is one. So that's the NPK of 511. But to me, 511 is not. Y'all know when I see them doing this crazy. What you doing? You training to be a ninja? What you doing with this bamboo? Huh? Kitty, tell the people. For those of y'all new to my channel, this is Skinneth. That's his full name, Skinneth. But um, I sh I quickly shortened it to Kenny, and then I call him Kenty. <laughs> I don't know why I call him Kenty, but actually, it's so I can when he pisses me off, I can you know, Kenty. See, 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 he knows. He knows when I say it like that, I'm pissed. He's done something. He's barfed on the floor or something. If you if you got cats, you already know they puke up all the time. So everybody's always talking about Alaska, five eleven. Um, Y'all see my tomatoes? That's my that's my starts. Well, I planted some already, but anyway, sidetrack. You know, I got I'm like a cat. I got the attention span of a cat. Anyway, um, everybody's always talking about five eleven, right? But it's really not a complete fertilizer to me. It's great if you're growing greens and stuff like that that really only need nitrogen. Um, and Alaska knows this. Alaska is the one that makes fish emulsion, or as it's called, 511, or as, you know, they don't start calling it 511. Um, I do use uh, uh, Alaska 511. I don't use it a lot because I grow comfrey, and I make my own free 511, basically. Um, it's very easy to make your own free fertilizers. Um, anybody that knows me knows that I am a sustainable gardening kind of girl. I do not promote you going out um, making other companies rich through your gardening when you're really supposed to be trying to sustain yourself. You're not supposed to be out making all these companies all this money. You're supposed to be saving money by gardening, in my opinion. At least that's the main reason I got started gardening. But that aside, Alaska knows that 511 ain't enough. They make more bloom. You see the numbers? 0, 10, 10. If you mix this with 511, and you'll see it there, the available phosphate is 10%. The soluble potash is 10%. They give you the chemical um, makeup of the K2O and P2O5. Those are the um, chemical structures. Uh, but that, that's really unimportant as a gardener. I have a biology degree and took umpteen hours of chemistry. So, um, and I could draw those structures too. Felix. Anyway. Um, but if you were to take this and mix it with 511, you would come out with a fertilizer that would be 51111. So the nitrogen instead of zero, because you mixed it with fish emulsion, would be five. The phosphate would be 11, and the potash would be 11. And why am I telling you this? Let's, let's take these tomatoes, for example. For right now, all they need is fishy motion. You want them to put on leaves. You want these tomatoes to put on nice, beautiful leaves for right now. Let's, let's, go, let's go back over to some other parts of the garden and show you. At first, all I used was my comfort. Remember y'all, I said I don't buy fishy motion. I don't. I don't believe in making Alaska rich. When I can make my own 511. That's my 511 right there. Comfort tea. So, at first, when this don't have no blooms on it, 511 is fine. But, once you start seeing this right here, 
Those are flowers. What is nitrogen for? It's for the leaves of your plant. Once your leaves have, a, once your plants have enough leaves, that means they have enough. These, this is where photosynthesis happens, which makes the energy for the plant. Once they got enough leaves for that, now they got to focus on making flowers. And the flowers then turn into fruit or vegetables, whether that be peppers, strawberries, whatever. It don't matter, tomatoes, whatever it is. What are we more interested in? The fruit, the vegetable. That's what we're more interested in. Yeah, these leaves pretty nice. If you're growing flowers and crap, yeah, you was probably living all the time. That's that's the main part of it. Is 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 freaking flowers. You know, I mean the leaves. That's the that's the main thing of it. Leaves. Um, but when it's time for this fruit, you need something more than five eleven, in my opinion. That's when a more bloom. It's gonna give you more flowers, more fruit, more and more root production. That's what the potassium and the phosphorus actually does. That's what it's there for. For the flowers, which turn into fruit, and the root production. You need the root production. You need all that to support this plant. Once it get this many leaves, trust me, you don't need that much nitrogen no more. It, 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 it got enough. You know what I'm saying? It got enough. You need more of the other stuff. People wonder why. Just like, let me show you. This is from using just my comfrey. Y'all see all these flowers and all of these pods, these radishes, used to be flowers. This is from using my comfrey. Do it look like I need 511? No. Not making them rich. I'm sorry. I bought a one gallon thing of more bloom and it lasts. All this, y'all remember when them when this kale was eight down? And I said the aphids probably killed it. I thought it was dead. This ain't but four plants. Let me back up so y'all can see that in full glory. Full glory. Look at all that. Four plants. And I harvest off that. And I'm finna, I'm finna pluck it ball like a chicken here in just a minute. Same thing with this. This kale here. Two dino kale. I don't use no 511. I make my own. And, and, and I think. Let me see. By the time I post this. I should have had a video out. It's going to be called. The Stench of Success. Y'all look for that video. Um, show y'all this here. Up until now. I haven't been using nothing but my free fertilizer on these on these tomatoes. You see how big? Look at that stem. That's my finger. That's the stem. You see how thick that is? But look what we got here. We're starting to get these beautiful blooms. And I think this is a black creme. Uh, thank you to Letitia. Letitia sent me black creme. And, and that's the only tomato I could think this could be because beef steaks and stuff is big like this. I haven't grown a tomato this big in a long time. Um, but all my tomato plants once again growing in straight composting wood chips that's all I'm growing in y'all composting wood chips and I'm gonna talk about them wood chips and and more about the compost I'm, I'm just gonna keep preaching that to y'all because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna knock down these people with all this misinformation but once again if you want a complete fertilizer once again like I said when you get your plant started by all means Use your 511 or, in, you know, I promote making your own free fertilizer. I'm just saying, think about it. Make your own free, especially if you're starting out gardening. You got a lot of money to be buying all this stuff. I'm showing you how you can make this stuff free. Even if you're not growing comfort, I'll show you how to make it without comfort. So, start your plants off. Get them, you know, feed them. And you ain't got to feed them every day, y'all. You ain't got to feed them every day. When I do my comfort tea, because it's liquid, the plants suck it up quickly. I do it once a week. Um, now, if we get rain that week, rain has a lot of nitrogen in it. If we get rain that week, I won't feed them that week. But if we didn't get no rain that week, I'm going to feed them. And then once they get big like this and start putting on these blooms, I start adding in a little bit of that more bloom. And you don't need a ton of that. But I start putting that more bloom on. And that's why it's called more bloom because you're going to get more. It's supposed to help give you more blooms, more fruit. That's what we're interested in because, see, we're not going to eat this. You may give this to your chicken or compost or whatever. We're not going to eat that. So, you know, you have to keep your eye on the prize, people. Just like carrots. That's a root crop. People talk about they have problems with beets. If all you giving your beets is 5'11", like if you listen to Miss Cheryl, Miss Cheryl will tell you she mixes. What she says she mix in? Uh... She don't buy 511. She buy the other one. It's similar, but it's not the same. But it's got kelp in it. It's got seaweed in it. What should put that in there? Because it's got more. That particular fertilizer has more 
potassium, and, ph and phosphorus in it. That's why I'm sure I have beautiful beetroots. I struggled with beetroots too. Until, can y'all see that? Can y'all see that root right there? Above the ground? Can y'all see? Let me see. Peep over here. You see that? That one's got a root.